estimating the population mean. Sometimes social scientists want to know a population mean. For instance, they may want to know the mean age of the population or the mean income. But they may not have the time or the money to gather a data set that includes every single member of the population. In this case, they take a shortcut. They draw a random sample from the population and find the sample mean that corresponds to the population mean. So if they are interested in the mean age of the population, they look for the mean age of the sample. From this sample mean they estimate the population mean. And they do this by creating a so-called confidence interval around the sample mean. And then they conclude that most likely the population mean lies in this interval. Let's do this now. Let's assume the sample captured in our data set has been randomly selected from the population of the United States. And we want to find out the mean age of Americans when they get first married. We can do this using the age wet variable, which captures the age when Americans first get married. Go to Analyze. Descriptive Statistics and Explore. Send the age wet variable into the dependent list. Click on the Statistics button. Now you can select the size of your confidence interval. If you want to be 95% sure that the population mean is in this interval, then you select a 95%. If you're fine with a 90% certainty, then you select 90%. Now note that if you select a smaller percentage number, the actual interval you will get will be smaller. But you run the risk that your population mean is actually outside this interval. If you select a larger percentage number, the interval will you will get will be larger, which you may not want, but you can be more certain that the population mean actually lies within this interval. Let's do comparison. Let's first select a 90% interval. Click continue, then OK. This table tells you that there is a 90% chance that the actual age at which Americans first get married lies somewhere between 22.55 and 23.03. Let's now select a 99% interval. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore, click the Statistics button and change the number. Then click Continue and click OK. This table tells you that there is a 99% chance that the actual age at which Americans first get married lies somewhere between 22.45, 42, and 23.17. So you can see the interval has become slightly larger, but you can be much more certain that your population mean actually lies within this interval. Now note that you can only use this estimation procedure if the following conditions are satisfied. You must have interval scale data, your sample must have been collected randomly, and if your sample is less than 30 in size, you must be sure that the population is normally distributed and you must know its standard deviation. If your sample size is greater than 30, you can relax this requirement, so it's a good idea to select a sample that contains more than 30 observations.